Welcome to Land of House. Enjoybot just sent over a very large lithium iron phosphate battery, and I want to uh, test it out here in the uh, studio or lawnmower ATV shed, if you will. Uh, so this is a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, 200 amp hour. So uh, it's definitely different from what I have used here before. So let me go ahead and pull this out. It weighs uh, 49 pounds. <clears throat> you can see this thing much larger than the other batteries that I have here around the shop. Let's take a look at this battery real quick and go over some of its specs before we plug it up and start testing it. Uh, now it does come with a user manual, which I found right here. Has a lot of good information. It comes with your um, terminals and then also some little caps to put over that so nothing will touch. Um, so it's a lithium iron phosphate, 12 volt, 200 amp hour from EnjoyBot. Now for some of the specs here, the product number is EBLIFP and it's a uh, uh, 12200AH is the model number. And then uh, the nominal voltage, it says, is 12.8, charging voltage 14.4, uh, 14.6 max, discharge cutoff voltage 10 volts. The charge method, CC or CW or CV, um, standard charge current 40 amps, max charge current 100 amps. The standard discharge current, 40 amps. Max uh, continuous discharge current, 200 amps. Internal impedance is less than or equal to 10 milliohms. Okay, the operating temperature, you can charge from zero to 50 Celsius or discharge from negative 20 to 60. And uh, just checking online here, uh, it says basically that's operating temperature for charging is 32 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Operating temperature discharge is negative four degrees to 140. And you should store it between 14 degrees and 122. So yes, um, you can still use this down really cold. You just shouldn't charge it unless uh, it's warmer than that. This battery can also be used four in parallel and four in series. So you can uh, add up to your um, 48 volt if you have a system using that high of a voltage. The attached carrying handles do make it a lot easier to carry this, which is really nice. And they just fold down out of the way like that. I've got this thousand watt inverter we're gonna be using to test the new battery here in the studio. I need to disconnect this previous battery. So let me go ahead and turn off the solar from outside. And then I'm gonna shut off the power to the Midnight Classic here. There we go, so everything is off. And now I can just remove this previous battery that I've been using. Now I'm gonna place the Enjoy Bot down here so we can get this one set up. All right, I'm gonna pop these little plastic covers off of the battery terminal. And then we'll go ahead and get the red and black wires connected here. We might see a little spark, shouldn't be too big though. Okay, and for the fun of it, I'm gonna put these little caps back on here to cover up those exposed screws. Okay, now I'm gonna turn back on my studio lights. Hopefully we should see this work. There we go, looking good. The battery voltage is 13.1 volts. I'm gonna flip on the solar now See what we get. I've only got 25 watts coming in because it's overcast. EnjoyBot has several different batteries available. This is the 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour, 2,560 watt hour. Just means that if your inverter has uh, the ability to do 2,560 watts, you'll be good. Any more than that, and you're gonna to want to either step up to a 24, 36, 48 volt system to be able to run a higher um, watt value on these batteries. Uh, now, this is the regular battery, so um, anything below 32 degrees, you should not be charging this battery. They do make a low temperature heating battery as well. So let's say you um, have sun hit the solar panels, 
it will heat up the battery with that solar power first until it's above 32 degrees and then it will start charging that battery. So definitely nice to have if you are in a cold climate. All right, what I'm gonna do is let this thing fully charge and then we will start pulling from it with the solar turned off to see how well it performs over a certain length of time. <clears throat> this is a 200 watt light here. I'm gonna plug that up and let it be on as well. Just check the uh, voltage here with this running. We've got 13.1 and on the charge controller here, it also shows that we have a voltage of 13.1. All right, so four minutes have passed here on the kilowatt meter. If I go over to, it's got 0.01 kilowatt hours used. So let's come back in about 30 minutes and see what we have. I forgot to hook up my little meter here. So let me show you what's on here. Currently we are using 328 to 330 watts at 25 amps and the voltage is at 13.1 here and we've used uh, uh, 16 watts so far. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Oh, watt hours, excuse me. Um, so up here, 13.1 on the classic. So that is corresponding appropriately there. And then also I've got the uh, kilowatt here. So let me see, uh, it's currently outputting, uh, that's the uh, inverter, doesn't really matter. So we've got 0 0.09 kilowatt hours and it's been uh, 24 minutes. According to the kilowatt, we've got uh, an hour and two minutes have passed. And let's move over here to, uh, let's see, 0.24 kilowatt hours used. And if we move down here to this display, you can now see that we have used 200 watt hours and we've got uh, 19 amps, 250 watts. Now, if you look on your battery again here, just for a reminder, this is a 2,560 watt hour battery. So we we'll, should be able to run this thing all night long, no problem. Um, but I'm gonna come back in two hours and we will see what this thing looks like. It's 12.45 in the morning and I'm uh, getting tired. So this has now been running for two hours and 45 minutes. See if I can get that to show here. There we go, two hours, 45 minutes. And this one's showing that it has used a 0.59 um, kilowatt hours. And so if we move back down here to this one, looks like we've used uh, 627 watt hours. So they're decently close. And we're still at 13.1 volts. So. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off everything for tonight and then we will continue this tomorrow. I do have the uh, solar turned off so it won't be charging early in the morning. Fast forward about 12 hours. Let's go ahead and continue this test here on the battery. So I'm turning the lights back on. And uh, so once again, we've got the solar turned off. The battery's at 13.1 uh, volts, 13.2 uh, down here on this display. So we've got uh, 340 ish watts. And then uh, our starting point on the time again today is uh, two hours and 47 minutes. So let's let this sit here for a few hours. Maybe if I'll check it again at like uh, six hours and we'll see how this thing is performing. We're now at five hours and 20 minutes here on the time. And we are, uh, let's see, uh, 12.9 volts on the battery and we've used uh, 1.3 kilowatt hours and it's dropped by down to 250 watts. So uh, this thing is certainly a beast. It has been running now, uh, yeah, the five hours, almost five and a half at 19.7 amps and is doing quite well. I believe that's a good enough test here. Let me go ahead and flip the solar back on and I'll start charging this back up here. I doubt the math works perfectly on this, but let's just say this battery has a 200 amp hour continual discharge and you cut that in half. So it would run hundred amps for two hours or it would run uh, 50 amps for four hours 
or in our case, 25 amps for eight hours. So I think uh, what we saw here was what, uh, five hours and 20 minutes and it was still at 12.9 uh, volts. So, and I had only charged this up to 13.7. Uh, so if I had charged this up to uh, the 14.4 or 14.6 uh, max, then we would have seen uh, even more time on this battery. So definitely seems to have the uh, amp hours as advertised or that uh, 2,560 watt hours. I'm gonna keep using this battery over the next couple of days and then we will close up this video. Another week has gone by. I have been using this battery this whole time and it has worked flawlessly. So let's go ahead and pull this off of the uh, system and talk about it real quick. What was the weight on this thing again? I used this battery for two weeks out here in my studio. It was running for uh, 300 watts right at five and a half hours and uh, worked flawlessly. So definitely pleased with its performance. So if you hooked up this single battery to a refrigerator and then had enough solar to charge everything back up the next day, you could pretty much run your fridge off of a single battery uh, continuously. So definitely uh, really great. If you uh, have a cold weather situation, this battery right here does not have the self heating feature, um, but this company does have the uh, option to get that battery. So basically when the uh, temperature is below 32, you don't wanna charge this. So your solar panel will turn on a heater inside the battery, warm it up to a point above 32 degrees, so that it will um, start charging and not damage the battery. This one does not have that feature, so just keep that in mind. I'm Seth with Land House. Thanks for watching. If you wanna learn more about this battery, I have links in the description down below, and I'll see you in the next one.